Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm doing my first airsoft game playing commentary. I'm extremely excited to be doing this. I may turn this into a new series in the future. Uh, in this video, I'll just be talking strategy, what I like to do during the middle of the game, my setup, and kind of what happens during the game. Anyways, today we're playing at the grid code in Allentown of the Lehigh Valley. It's a small indoor arena, so a really important rule of thumb is right, and this one. really matters in every field as soon as the game starts move up as far as you can try to cover as much ground as you can if you stay in this back where your spawn area is chances are you're going to get stuck back there and you won't have an easy time pushing the where? enemy team back greenhouse so my setup for the video here is my jg mp5 it's sort of like my okay. main uh go-to airsoft gun right now it's equipped with a 7.4 lipo battery a red laser attachment on the left and I have a 4x32 scope and as you can see I already took out a few targets here and there the setup works pretty darn well the laser works well for close to medium range combat and the scope works pretty well for medium wow, to longer clear. range combat so I was working with the uh, player in the green camo there he was letting me know that there's uh, he saw a player on the left side so what I'm gonna do first here is check the right side you know pie that way then check the middle section there. I'm still checking the right side. And against this wall, I'll check the left side. And I'll see that it's clear because we already have a player on the left side of the arena there. I see another player right there. So the enemy team, Billy, and all the video clips today, there's a total of three video clips. And there goes He's another down. player taken out with the red laser. Uh, they just weren't really putting that much of a fight. There were some new players, but there are also some pretty experienced players there in the video today. But uh, yeah, they just, they didn't work together really well. They weren't calling out us, uh, our positions. And, um, barely putting that's up one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to lone wolf the entire time. Your team can be Friendly? extremely beneficial to your victory here. And uh, I know we're just playing for fun, but you should definitely work with uh, your team. Right your here we go. I'm working with him again. I'll let him know I'm right behind him. No. I do spot no. some shadows there through the crack, letting him know as soon as he enters, be prepared for a safety kill. Uh, the Greek code utilizes a 10 feet bang rule. Uh, so if you're in 10 feet as one, just point the gun at them, yell bang, do not fire. I'm pretty sure you all know this pretty well from watching my montages of the months and my other airsoft gameplay videos. So he pretty much Friendly. took the spawn. The classroom there is uh, one of the far side team's uh, spawn areas, and the back of the house there is another spawn area for the far side team. And all the players were pushed back. Yeah, so, we should probably move uh, back. We decided to Come in back. back. Here's another video clip of another match. Again, like I mentioned earlier, as soon as the game started, everybody on the team moved up right away. And as you can see, the players on the far side really did not bother to move up much which is kind of their demise for this entire round. Uh, if you don't move up during the start of a game at grid code, sometimes you will not be able to push up, especially if you're not working together. Uh, the player here mentions that he has seen a uh, few players on the right side, so I pie the corner there from the wall, try to see what's there, and I, I just mentioned I didn't see anybody. Uh, but we're all going to work together here. i uh, got some players on the left side once again. And we got the right side pretty much held down. Um, I, in this video, I also don't have any video clips of far side for gameplay, but in the future, I definitely will do a gameplay and commentary with some uh, video clips from the far side of the arena so you can see what that's like. But I, again, do have plenty of videos of what that's like. The thing I do like about the grid code is we do change up the layout pretty often. And here we go, moving up from the far side. I Yeah, moving up to the far side, sorry about that. And uh, we do take uh, pretty much the uh, spawn area once again. I got this side covered. I do like this crate here. It's a good amount of cover. Uh, keeps me protected from what's straight on. And uh, I can get a pretty clear shot on the left side and the middle hallway of the arena in the back there. Uh, you can't see the middle hallway, but um, it's right before that entrance there. So the player respawns again there. Uh, I know he's in the dorm room section, so I just wait uh, to see anything move. And as soon as he pops up, I do um, get to throw uh, BB at his uh, full face mask there and eliminating him because that's the only thing that was exposed. I don't really care for going for headshots. Nobody really likes getting shot in the face. Uh, even if you have a full face mask on, I still try to avoid um, the shots there. But that's when that's the only thing exposed, that's the only thing I'll be able to shoot at. 
Anyways, in our last clip here, I start off fighting from a distance uh, behind the car. I thought it would be pretty fun to utilize the scope a little more. I definitely do need to get some Lexan glass to cover the scope. So if any BBs do make their way against the scope lens, uh, the Lexan glass before the scope will block and protect it. So in the future, I'll have a little project on that. So I'm just uh, crouching down here, and there's a target across the arena, which I eventually do get to uh, hit with a BB. But at this moment here, my mid cap ran empty. I checked the magazine first, check if there's any issues whatsoever. But uh, the magazine fed perfectly. So I reload real quick, get the new magazine in there, and I rack the charging handle. With every airsoft gun I own, I always rack the charging handle. It's just cool to add a little more extra realism. And uh, I just think it's a little more fun. So I do end up uh, eliminating that target there. Uh, pretty much clearing up the middle of the arena. And then pretty soon I'm going to make my way up. I see um, some of my teammates moving up, so I figured I'd move up to the front lines and help them out. I stop here before the car, uh, suppress that there. I have another teammate moving up right there. And pretty soon I'm going to move to the uh, middle house. But I'm just keeping uh, the player there covered in the meantime so he can uh, go where he's trying to get to. Another player just got eliminated on the far side, which is good for us. Here I go making my move. Uh, nobody's on the right side. The left side is somewhat covered. And here we are again at uh, the standstill point. Um, here's a really cool clip. Uh, one of my players was going to clear behind the house with a Thunder Bee uh, grenade. It's just a loud sound grenade. It sounds generated from a CO2 cartridge. So as soon as the grenade explodes, it's really imperative that you move up right away while the enemy is distracted. Also, if you're in 10 feet of the sound grenade, uh, you are eliminated. So uh, that's clear. We move up to the house again. I'm going to check the left side of the arena, make sure my teammates move up. And there's a player against the spawn wall. So I don't take a shot at him because, well, that just wouldn't be fair. So anyways, we do take the far side of the arena, and that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.